Hey guys, it's Chris Time FK7. Welcome back to the channel. And for those of you who are longtime subscribers of my channel, you probably already noticed this, but on my recent videos, there has been a slight change in production. That's because my camera woman, AKA my wife, she's actually busy with school. So I had to change it up. I had to make videos myself. And I'm absolutely terrible with adjusting the camera and like matching it, you know, with the level of my face or whatever um so i'm not an expert at that she's the one in charge of that most of the time but yeah i'm gonna be continuing to make videos the best possible way that i can uh because she really does play uh, a, a huge part of this channel and to my videos of course and like i'm gonna try my best to make it as entertaining as before but yeah um right now as you can see we are actually inside of the fk7 that's because in today's video, we are going to be installing some paddle shifters on the Honda Civic Sport hatch. Let's go. And since I like the side markers from Ultimate Motorsports, I went ahead and got the paddle shifters for your FK7. If you're wondering, where you can buy these, I'm gonna be linking it down below where you can buy them, uh, the store, and then you can actually use my code CTFK7 for 10% off any of your purchase on that store. And uh, I'm just gonna warn you guys now, during the video, I keep saying shift paddles instead of paddle shifters. Well, they're like the same thing, but yeah, I do apologize. So yeah, let's get started with the installation of these paddle shifters from Ultimate Motorsports. So this is what the stock shift paddles look like. They're like super small. Uh, they're like this tiny. So if we go here, th just the size of them, like compare it with my hand, like my whole hand is bigger than the whole shift paddle. So uh, installing the shift paddle covers is gonna increase the amount of shift paddle that you get. So it's gonna make it a lot bigger and it's gonna look a lot nicer. Uh, because these are like super tiny and like sometimes you can like miss shift uh, now this is a CVT so even if you miss shift you know the computer on this car is smart enough to know when to upshift or downshift but either way um, it's it'll be a lot better if we had something bigger so and this is the shift paddle and like they have different colors like uh, obviously they have the black one, but they also have red and blue. Uh, so I chose the black one so that it'll match my black interior. And like basically, look at the difference of this. Like this is double the size of your stock shift paddle. Like in comparison, look at that. The stock shift paddle is like a little tiny thing compared to this big myth. So basically this is just going to go on like this you see that right there and it has like a little plus sign so that it'll indicate which side this goes on to so it's gonna look like that basically um, you pretty much stick the double-sided tape here and then there's also little screws right there which you would um, which you'd need to tighten so that it'll have like a more secure fit so that it won't fall off as you're driving so this is what it looks like and it's nice and um, the quality of this is pretty good as well. It's made of aluminum and like it does not feel cheap at all. So some good quality stuff right here. And obviously it's gonna feel a lot better than this plastic one that you get on your stock paddle shifter. All right, so it's gonna look like that. And we're pretty much just gonna stick this on like this. So now it looks like this, right? So what we're gonna do is we are now going to tighten these uh, little screws right here with this Allen wrench that this comes with. Now again, this is very small, so you don't wanna lose this Allen wrench because if you do, then you're not gonna be able to tighten any of these. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. So don't tighten it all the way, just like um, 
just give it a little bit of wiggle room that way you can adjust this you know if ever you you need to and then don't forget the two that's on the bottom like with the shift paddle and like you can clearly see a big difference so this tiny little shift paddle right here versus the ultimate shift paddle which whew, I'm really liking wow that's awesome I like it um, so an easy way to get access to the bottom is It's best if you turn the steering wheel like this. That way, you know, you'll you'll have a better access to the bottom part and you can just tighten it from here. So there's one right there and then the other one is right here. So just turn your wheel, make your life easier. Um, but if you wanted to make it a challenge, then just leave your wheel like that and uh, just go under here and tighten. But Honestly, um, the tape that it comes with, like it's already sticky enough, but um, if you want just extra security, just go ahead and tighten these screws with the Allen wrench. So we're gonna go ahead and do the same on the other side. installing these shift paddles and they really do make a big difference uh, in terms of the paddle size because you are getting double the size of what you were to get compared to the stock paddles super high quality too like they don't feel cheap because they're made of aluminum so you're not gonna degrade over time however my main concern is when it's hot um, like these might get hot just like because I have an aluminum shifter on the type R and that tends to get hot but uh, this is what it looks like looks really good let me just put on my wide angle lens and wow look at that easy to install literally it only takes like five minutes to install so can't go wrong with that really convenient so you can shift from up here you can shift from down here Whereas on the stock shifter, or uh, on the stock paddles, you can only shift right here. But like when you're turning, you can shift from over here. So super convenient to have these and it really improves the looks of the inside of the car. Okay, so now it's time for subscriber builds. Will I show off your build on my video? The first build for today is First we have Andrew Cackpal and he says, I've been watching for quite a while now and my favorite video so far was the underglow installation as I've decided to do it as well on mine. And one of my favorite mods, here is my car so far and still in progress. And here's a list of all his mods. Next is from Jake Duffy. He says, what's up, Chris? Love the YouTube content. That type bar is a beauty. Boost Blue is my favorite stock color. Here's my 2017 Civic Sport Hatch. And finally, we have a build from Jeff Acampo, and he says, hey, Chris, congratulations on the FK8. Can't wait to see what you'll do to it to make it your own. Thanks. And you can follow him at Instagram at Sarap Talaga. If you want your build to be featured on the channel, send me an email at christimefk7 at gmail.com so that you can be featured on my upcoming videos. Alright, 
here we go. Here is a little POV of using the paddle shifters. Not sure if you guys can see this is very unsafe don't attempt this to try it at home make sure you're pay attention make sure you pay attention on where you're driving don't be like me don't be like an idiot you might kill somebody um, so let's all right put this on support mode and using the paddle shifters All right, I think this is better, hopefully. Come on, dude. Lady. <laughs> All right, let's go over here. Oh boy, of course you gotta drive slow. Why wouldn't you? So it looks like we're a little bit overexposed, but that's fine. So as you can see, I'm using the paddle shifters and they are a lot easier because you get a bigger paddle shifter so like I can shift from up here or I can even shift from down here whereas before you'd have to keep your hands right here at the three o'clock and nine o'clock steering wheel position uh, so with these paddle shifters I'm able to shift my hands closer to the two o'clock position So, as you all might know, I do have the K&N filter installed on this car. I don't have the short ram intake installed anymore because with that short ram intake, you're going to get you're going to hear that whooshing noise whereas on this K&N filter, you're not going to hear anything. Uh, which is fine. I mean, the the whole point of this video is to show you guys how these shift paddles work. Um and I've got comments on asking um I've got comments asking how to use the manual mode on this car properly. Uh, well, there really isn't uh, a proper mode on how to use it uh, because this is a CVT. This isn't actually a car with gears on it. So this is just one continuous gear. Um, that's why CVT stands for continuous variable, continuous variable transmission uh, because it's just one gear. It doesn't have your normal six or eight gears that you would have on a regular automatic car or even a manual transmission car. So what I usually do when I do uh, manual mode, I usually shift around to 3000 RPM. But yeah, as you can see a big difference because I'm able to shift right over here, up here, and even down here. Anyways, uh, you guys get the point. Now, this isn't a video for on how to use a CVT transmission. Um, I do need some time to maybe make a proper video on how to use the CVT manual mode on this car. Um, but for now, this is what you get with these awesome aluminum alloy shifters from Ultimate Motorsports. And like I highly suggest getting it because not only will it change the look of your car but it'll give you more shift paddle um, or you know paddle shifters it'll give you more paddle shifters so like you're gonna get a greater area of shifting uh, because you're not gonna be limited to just shifting over here at the three o'clock and nine o'clock positions but you're also gonna be able to shift at the two o'clock slash eleven o'clock and four o'clock and uh seven o'clock positions so very handy indeed like right now i'm turning i'm using the bottom part so this is four o'clock position um and like it's super convenient to have but uh since you guys are already here might as well do like a zero to 60 in uh i, I guess in my way of doing the manual mode on this car um so as you can see we're fully on uh, on manual mode turn off the ac all right, zero to 60, a manual transmission car. 
Here we go. Okay, awesome. Ready, three, two, one. Sixty. All right, so that took a little bit. That took a little while, but uh, let's leave it on the normal sport mode uh, to maybe see the difference on uh, zero to 60 in this car. See if there's a difference on using the manual mode versus the sport mode. And to see if the rumors are true. Um, but yeah, we're gonna debunk it here. Go. <laughs> a little bit of a uh, tire spin is there. 60. So it did feel faster than manual mode on the car. So obviously we're not going to get the same pull as the Type R, but it's it's cool. It's great. <laughs>